Now, I know what you're thinking. This does look a little bit desperate, you know, an artist putting on a wig and um, interviewing themselves. It's not desperate, it's sad, really. Uh, I, I, I don't think it's sad. Uh, oh no 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 dearie no it's 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 very sad and um but you know sometimes when people don't give a shit you have to give a shit yourself so that's what we're doing this is about giving a shit and um uh, hopefully we'll uh talk to the artist and um find some answers and find out what the space is about as she says so um let's get started shall we i thought just for you know as a bit of a warm-up we could do some art history isn't that fun and so i've got this book and um, the essential history of art see here in the center very strategic they've put um mona lisa and we also have other um images that we recognize so I thought just for this exercise what we do is um, try to find some artists that we can compare this artist with and then um, you know just to I think oh no but we have mm. to we have to uh, we have to do this you know um, we have to validate your existence because I don't see any uh, I mean, it's the history of art, but no other, no names that I recognise. So let's just pretend, let's pretend you're in here, shall we? Bernardo Cavula is in the essential history of art book. That's it. She, she's an artist. Um, so why don't you start telling us about this exhibition? Uh, what people shall expect or what, you know, what? they should expect to see in the space the space the exhibition or the you know one night show is just a space that um, and I am bringing I guess my my drawings to life because right now they're just in drawers and flip files and plastic sleeves and I do think that you know it's time I, I would just really like to share it with the world and get people's feedback so it's a space for conversation and thinking and um, just talking about doing uh, what I believe is to be like before we is, start what's speaking about so just, that and uh, creating and positive visual representations of black women and that also st and it's actually started with my body that's very thing. interesting wouldn't you agree that's very interesting In series where I have three black young women who that's are very interesting isn't it they are I think it's interesting uh, so let's let's get it right you've got you've got basically just pictures and stuff that you do and um, and all your ideas so it's uh, more of like a, a drawing board let's call it a drawing board shall we so you've got this space and it's a drawing board and you've got all your drawings that you do and you know all these um, 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 positive visual representations of black women as you put it in the space which I think is very it's, it's, it's excellent if I have to say so myself <laughs> It's very good. And um, so would you, I, I think I'm really, I'd like to know more about Nana, the smart kid, shall we? Let's talk about Nana. It's very interesting. I think it's interesting. Nana, the smart kid, is just what, something that I feel needs, needs to exist next to um, Madam and Eve, because I'm not seeing anything that is, um, uh, you know, questioning Madame and Eve in comics. I mean, I respect the strip. It's funny. I grew up reading it, but um, it's time that uh, new work existed. Yeah. You know, King Art 
artist just getting up mid interview like this isn't important. Mm -mm. Okay, you just by Zozo. Yeah, Baba Tebi. Uh, so you've got money and friends, you've got none of the smart kid and all these other interesting drawings. That's really go on, yes, that's a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all uh, that <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Well, that's all we've got time for today. Hopefully you will join us again on another edition of Nobody Gives a Shit. Well, looks like that's all we've got. Uh, that's it, no, okay. No. okay. Here's to giving a shit.